Hello and welcome to UK Barn Finds. We're back again today at what's fast becoming our spiritual home, Anglia Car Auctions in Kings Lynn. I'm going to do a walk around soon and as you'll see, they seem to have an area dedicated to barn finds and it's indoors. Around me, obviously, you'll see the David Brown collection, which you probably know about from our other videos. We're gonna talk about those in a little while. But what I want to do on this video is I'm going to take you around all the cars on sale. We're UK barn finds, so I'm going to try and pick out six cars that I think might be of interest to people who are into barn find cars or cars that have been off the road for a number of years. And I want to sort of come back to those in another video and report on how they did at auction. So have a guess now and see what you think they'll do. Put the comments below and you know we'll have a bit of fun with it it's only for a laugh uh, we've noticed obviously the videos are going all around the world at the moment which is really fantastic it's so cool that you know it's just myself and claire who does the editing and occasionally appears in videos um, so we'd love to know where some of you guys are and where you're watching this from i'm not going to waffle on for ages the sale is on the 19th and 20th of august Viewing is on the Thursday and Friday before, so if you can get to Kings Lynn, come down and have a look. Go to angliacarauctions.co.uk and you'll see all the cars here with magnificent photos. They should be, have all their write-ups and everything going on on there as well. Um, you can watch the live stream on the day, which is fantastic. Claire often gets involved with the banter there. Um, they've got it all going on, so angliacarauctions.co.uk. Thanks for watching UK Barn Finds. We're really enjoying it. It's been a great few months for us. We're a fledgling channel. If you subscribe, comment, like, share, do all those things, it really, really genuinely is appreciated. And um, yeah, let's go for a walk around. So this time, let, let's start in one of the car parks because I normally start inside and it's really busy today. I'm trying to find where there are the least workers. So we'll have a look around here. I'm just panning around now to give you an idea before we walk around of what's involved. I haven't actually looked around outside yet, so I often say this in our videos, you're seeing this as we're seeing it. It's a real, uh, once this is out of the way, you might even be able to hear me look. That is a nice noise. I hope these microphones pick it up. Kind of feeling they won't but there you go um we're going to come back to these so let's start in the corner the sun is absolutely beaming down granada estates we seem to uh be getting a bit of a name for those you'll see on our videos one of our top videos was uh, a different one barn find one i don't know the backstory on this one but I know that a few people will be interested in it because it's a Ford and it's a Granada. This, look, the Vanguard. Who is into hip hop here? Rap, whatever you want to call it. Bound to be uh, somebody who sees the link there. Got to have an MG, haven't you? Great British car in this sunshine that would be an absolute delight to drive. Now we have mentioned the Mercedes before and the reason we mentioned that um, go and have a look at the Anglia Car Auctions website and you'll see that that was once owned by a member of Pink Floyd. So there we are, two cars, two music references. I think I'll quit while I'm ahead. I'll work my way around these ones. I can hear a car behind me. I'm likely to get run over in a minute if I'm not careful. So I shall uh, move out of the way. It's great having um, a bit early access because obviously we can get the videos edited and up in time for the viewing, but you can come up Thursday and Friday. But the reason 
they have dedicated days is A, because all the cars will be laid out and B, you don't have to run the risk of getting run over, like I do. Lovely Mini, look. Oh, wow. You could probably tell when I comment on certain cars that they're definitely ones that I'd have. And then saying that, Claire and I are sort of going for the variety is the spice of life as far as cars are going at the moment and buying some things that we wouldn't necessarily ordinarily buy. And uh, Volvos, they've been a little car that we've featured lately as well. So I definitely have another Volvo because our one's been absolutely fantastic fun. haven't owned an Alpha, have you? I'm not, I feel like I'm a fraud in the car world because I haven't owned an Alpha. Everyone says you must own an Alpha at some point. And it'd be nice to know as far as um, bucket list cars go for you. Because there's one of mine still not ticked off. Without checking on the website, I don't know what spec that is. I can see it's a project. Um, and a bit of a whack there. The rest of it from afar looks nice so I'm not sure what the backstory is Lotus there never owned a Lotus and um, I don't know I don't I know so little about them I wouldn't know what's a good one what's a bad one I do know that this Honda Civic Type R would be a lot of fun one for the missus, my missus, she's just bought a Figaro and there's an absolutely stunning one here and when she edits this she'll probably have notions of buying a second Figaro but no Claire, behave yourself. It's going to be very tricky to get down here. I'm walking through these cars here. Uh, diet starts next week. I want to try and show every car, so some will obviously get a bit more air time than others. But the whole idea is, A, you know, we'd like you to, like we say, comment on some of the cars here. Probably best if I pan around and show you their rears. Um, would be to comment on some of the cars you see here. Let us know what you think of them whether you've had one, whether you'd like one. Um, but also if you're interested, the idea is you can go along and find out a bit more. And if you're watching after the auction, you can always go along and look at the results page and see what they sold for. I mentioned bucket car lists. <laughs> really um, strange confession, but I would. A 2CV. <laughs> I would genuinely love one one day. They're supposed to be such fun. That looks awesome. That minor doesn't look standard from here. Well, exhaust certainly doesn't. Perhaps someone can go along, have a look and let me know what the score is with that one. I do read all the comments, so does Claire. That is lovely. Yep. 
Pan round now. Oh look, there's the legend himself, Jeff. For those who don't know, Jeff's one of the auctioneers here. Very knowledgeable about, knowledgeable about his uh, classic cars, especially. If I want to know a bit about them, I ask him. Maserati 3200 GT. Talk to me. Come on, someone must get the Terry Tibbs reference there. I believe there are over 270 cars in this sale and that is why I am struggling a little bit to plan a route around them all. the best way. I may have to come up with a cunning plan. Comfy ride. Do like a Mercedes. and you see a car like the Puma and think, where did they all go? Why, do I, don't, why don't I see them anymore? They were so common at one point. Lovely. I know I'll get stick for that because people just don't get my obsession with old Austins and cars of that ilk. Let's swing round again, try and go down the next lane. Bucket car list for us. would have cost you know relatively speaking back in the day wonder what it will cost next weekend it's a shame it's um could almost make a full-time job out of just looking at all of these cars in detail because you never know when you're going to see one again but sadly we don't have that luxury I'd love to have a good look over that. Oh, 
I love the kind of American look about those old voxels. Still watching now, I should think you're going to see me bump into those if I'm not careful. Yeah, I'm doing my limbo trick there, but I've got to try and get every car in. I said I would. Always championing, championing the Rovers. Put the wrong teeth in this morning. Let's try and get round the back. See if we can work our way up. Oh dear me. Now there are at least two XR4 eyes I think in this sale. So we may bump into another one in a little while. Let's see what you've done with the plate there. That's another iconic car. Ah, and there are at least two Rolls Royces that I've seen because there's another one we'll see later that I walked past indoors. Having a chat with one of the auction staff members here and saying how it's great now because you can get those cars um, for not crazy money and stick them on your drive and everyone will think you're a rock star or a multi-millionaire or maybe not so the great thing is as well they've got cars from the 1930s that I know of here in this sale and then Guy Snelling the guy who is in charge of sort of putting this auction together for Anglia car auctions he likes to throw in the odd modern one like we just walked past there not everything is you know what would be traditionally known as a, a, a classic or a a retro, he's, but I see why he does it. They, they make you look. They draw in other people. They make it varied. You cannot accuse these guys of not offering variety. Now look, this is how big just this one car park is. I think there's some other cars in another car park and um, about five halls. Scimitar's been seeing a few of these lately. Lovely to see. They seem to have like had a resurgence in um, popularity. I'm sure they always had a, a following, obviously, but they seem to be coming, becoming cool again, which is great because they're cool cars. That at least three Rolls Royces. What you will notice as well is every not, every, not just every taste is catered for, but every budget too.
you don't have to be fantastically rich to have fun with cars and these guys know that and when they put an auction together they bear that in mind because believe it or not a good auction house like this one will probably turn away as many cars for a sale as it accepts it's various different reasons I'm not going to go into them all on this video but it's not a simple case of everything that comes through the door gets accepted that Land Rover looks interesting but then I don't know if you can see in there everything every Land Rover is interesting to me because I'm a fan I'm going to have to take a detour here, I think, or will I, will I get through this gap? Place your bets, please, ladies and gentlemen. It looks wider through that lens than it actually is. No, that's going to be a fold the wing mirror one or go a different route, Elton. Let's go a different route. Warning, this Essex boy is reversing. Doo -doo. Warning, right. Don't give up the day job. So, Salika, oh yes. Got that projecty look about it, but what a cool car. Plan my route down here. I think I can get down there. They don't have the uh, cafe open today. They do on auction weekends and on viewings, I think, so I haven't filled up on bacon rolls today, but you can if you come down here what I haven't come across yet is any of the six barn finds that I kind of got in my head that will feature in an upcoming video we'll follow them through on auction days and just let you know how they did I believe I've seen this Cortina before. Yeah, if you haven't seen this Cortina before, do look it up. It's a development car. Um, quite fascinating, really. Very much a one-off. The details will be on their website. I'd have thought this will be of interest to a few of you here. I believe that's a tick for kit on that. Feel free to correct me. I'm sure you would anyway, but go ahead, make my day. said it in previous videos but I will say it to anyone who's sort of come along and this is the first one of these auction walk arounds they've seen if you're genuinely interested in buying any of these cars you can contact the auction house for more details if you can't make it here they'll come out take photos talk to you do all the stuff 
that you ask basically you can sign up online and bid online you do have to leave a deposit so that you don't get time wasters you can leave commission bids which is you know where you leave a maximum bid and they'll bid incrementally for you you can arrange to have a telephone bid which means they'll call you as the lots about to come up and bid with you on the phone um, yeah there are all sorts of ways of buying these cars they won't try and force them on you that's not their job they're kind of there to show you the cars and you decide what you want to buy but they will make that as easy as possible for you they can even help point you in the right direction with transport and hopefully it won't be in this unless you buy it of course no i think this was genuinely a police van because sometimes you get replicas at auctions I mentioned earlier about more modern stuff that gets included and that's this is one of those but you watch there'll be loads of people looking at that on viewing day because it's just kind of quirky I mean who'd buy a police car eh yep we did we've got one at home Peugeot Cool cars, look. Two litre laser. A friend of mine has got, I think it's just a laser, two litre. Always looks cool, even with him in it. Let's try and get around the front of these cars. We're a bit wary of the sun. Right, we're going to go across to the next row. Let's, um, crikey, where do we start here? We're trying to plan a route down. I don't want to leave anyone out. No man is left behind, no car is left behind. But this could be a challenge. It's another XR4i there. Don't worry, I'm going to come back for some of the ones in the middle. I know things like the MR2 will have caught some people's eye. That's a bit of luxury. come around to these ones in a moment. Seems to be never ending today. Actually, let's do this corner first before we go up the next row.
This is why we love auction houses. Where else can you go and see a Land Rover lightweight parked next to a London cab? It's awesome. Just going to back up again. No daft sound effects this time. What a front end. Another Land Rover lurking around the back. Looks in a very good nick. Now, here we are. Finally, we found our first. What's this one going to sell for at auction car? Austin Ambassador. I don't have all the details to hand with me. I'm walking around with a camera. Hopefully there'll be an info box here that will tell you a little bit about this. So, place your bets. How much is she going to sell for? Let's see if we can just have a quick look inside. Look, you're getting special treatment because you've been neglected. It's a warm day today. And a lovely, warm, fuzzy smell emanating from the uh, seats there. Love it. I genuinely live for that. So, car number one on our list. How much is the Austin Ambassador going to sell for this weekend? Have a guess and we'll put it in a later video. Another Capri, that one looks quite nice. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten these ones. We're going to go down this fence line, do the ones that I just shown you then, and then that's this first car park done. This is the biggest bit. The rest of it isn't quite so time consuming, but there's no point in me doing it if I'm not going to show everything. Maybe I could get that alpha. I do like these. Ooh. Not owned one, but I've been in one a few times. What I love about viewing days and auction days is we watch the Anglia Car Auctions website almost religiously. And yet when I come up on a viewing day, I'm still like, I didn't see that. I didn't see that one. Oh, that one looks different here. In the flesh, in the sunshine with a bit of a polish over it. And there's your prime example. Oh, it's not going to be on our six barn finds list, but be rude of me not to ask what you think this will go for. Let's see if I can get a shot round the back. Hang on. Starting to give away my tastes again, look. Wowza. I'm a bit worried now because Claire does all the editing of these videos. She's probably going to want to bid on that as well. No. I still need something of this era. It 
does look cool. And suicide doors, is it? Look at that. Ooh, suit you, sir. That's nice looking. the cars down the middle row now. Um, Going to prove a challenge. Put the Audi in there and then I think I'm going to have to backtrack again. And do each of them kind of like this. All of the cars here will drive through on the day, including the Ambassador I showed you earlier, which despite being unloved by the looks of it for a while, I'll say unloved, you know, somebody might have loved it but just not had the time to do what they wanted to do with it, um, that, that drives. We're almost, we've got about three cars to do. And then outside is done. You can see what an auction house gets up to. Look, they've even got Hoovers. They have a valeting team. They have like a company come in, I think, to do them on big auction days. So if you're selling a car, it's definitely worth considering Anglia car auctions because they actually do put the effort in. I would um, love that Austin Maxi. Absolutely love it. Bite me. So anyway, that's outside the main car park. I'm going to have a rest for a couple of minutes, but by the magic of editing that will be a second and we'll start on some of the other cars, because that's not everything yet. Right, let's get cracking. I'm outside now, as you can see, just checking everything's working. Um, let's go again. So, this is a overflow car park, tidiest that I've ever seen it, well done. Anglia car auctions and I think all the cars here are in the auction but just double check any that you see and also I spotted this actually before I came here the eco trailer is in the auction we have one exactly the same ourselves and they tow really nicely so if you want an enclosed trailer that is in the sale and we'll just go around the same vein just have a look at some of the cars I'll shut up and let you have a few comments on some of them. I think this is a Mercedes that appeared in the background on one of our shorts or reels I lose track what they call them all these social media companies um, that people were interested in but anyway if you're interested in that shiny looking thing don't quote me on this but I think these are the non-runner sort of sections now here we have Car number two in our six barn finds coming to auction. How much will they sell for challenge? Which just rolls off the tongue. Um, this little Z600 Honda. I absolutely love this. We posted a little bit about it up on, I think it was on our sort of Facebook and Instagram and stuff. Where we do post little bits now and again. A project, I think it's been off the road a fair old while, but these are just so cool. 
and if you don't agree with me then you're wrong I'm not even going to argue on this this one it's absolutely tiny and just brilliant somebody did comment on our Facebook reel actually if you do go and find it UK barn finds you'll find us on there not one of the imposter ones the actual UK barn finds um, somebody there her partner restores them and has they post up a couple of them absolutely beautiful I should think it's on their radar to be honest but yeah going back to the Z600 Comment below, what do you reckon that will sell for, how much? And we'll come back and we'll do a little follow up video on that one. So we found two of them so far. And over my shoulder, I've spotted two others. So we'll come to those in a minute. But I want to show you every car, every car that I can. Right, let's just pan round. Hello, old friends. More from the David Brown collection. So again, if you watched our, some of our previous videos, you'll recognize these E-type tubs. And bonnet there, with tub. Um, we will be going in that hall in a little while. But no, here's a couple more then for our challenge. I thought for fun, why not? I think this is a 1275 GT. We'll pop up a little info card here. There is not a great deal left. I'm pretty sure the pallets come with it and I'm pretty sure you're going to need them. So how much is that going to sell for? It's an iconic car. It was an iconic car. And talking of which, from the David Brown collection, the Series 1 Land Rover. 80 inch, memory serves me right, 1951. Again, we'll pop up a little card. I'm quite happy to be corrected. How much do you think this one will sell for? Don't remember them having engines in the back. So that's outside overflow car park done. I think that was in a previous auction. But I'll film it just in case. Let's go inside. So we are mixing it up. We're going to try this hall now. I don't know how their numbering system works on the halls. I really should have found out by now. I've been here enough times. It's going to be a tight squeeze. So, shout when you see something you like. There are, let's get a better view of that one. Now viewing days, you can get in and have a proper look. Most cars, you can't, I don't think, start them. But these ones will all, they're in the hall here, which means they'll drive through on the Saturday or the Sunday. Most of the cars here, well I thought all of them actually, will have been driven for the test drive for the Anglia Car Auctions website. So you can certainly check out those videos. Always got to give a bit more attention to the Fords, haven't I? Eh? It's great that these have such a following now, but it's 
I'm of an age, I can remember they were just your family car. And that's why people like them, obviously. There's a one that wasn't so much your family car. Cool looking beast. Don't remember my Capri looking quite like that. So we'll go back and we'll have a look at some of the ones in the middle of the room. Some of you want to see that Toyota from the front as well. See if we can find a route through. Don't often see them looking quite that nice. Proper workhorse. Let's try and get in front of these. And we'll come back to the ones on the back wall in a moment. Camaro there. Now I haven't looked this one up, but I do know that the cherished Jags, the sort of limited editions and things, have quite a following. Nice plate on that one too. There's a Bentley beside it that I don't want to have to zoom out because then I'll give you a distorted image of what the cars look like. But if I tell you that's the size of my bungalow, I'm not as much of a liar as that sounds. That is huge, that thing. I'm going to try and squeeze in front of it. Look, helpful. Somewhere lurking over there is oh. Mr. Snelling, the auctioneer. Or the, <laughs> the, uh, the man in charge of putting this auction together. Look at this little Honda here. We will get a front shot of that in a moment. I just want to go along the back wall and then we'll come back and have a look at that little Honda before I do the next haul because that is too cute just to show its rear end. That Corsair, I think that's a Crayford convertible, that one. Need to double check again. It's just, I love the way they've laid them out. Now, it's not purely by chance, because they do have a system here. But I just love the way you've got all the different colours going along here. It's quite pleasant. Who can tell me what that is then without looking it up? So, this is one of the far halls. Like I said, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how their numbering works. I'll find out before the next video. But we'll go and have a look at, at the other 
one of the other holes now and I'll quickly, before I do, I'll nip over now and have a look at that Honda from the front because I think that's a cool looking car. So, which one would you have out of that hole then? I think for me it would be this. But we're all different, that's what makes the car world so entertaining. Now I'm going to go back into the hall where I started this video. You might remember we had the barn find collection there. But we will do the other cars first. I can do two at once as we go along, look. Winner, winner. These aren't barn finds, by the way. Barn finds don't take up the entire hole here. These are absolutely gleaming and beautiful. So strange that when I grew up, beetles were everywhere. And as a lad, you either had minis, which I did, or beetles. And there's still a fair few around, but you just don't see them as much as we used to. So, let's go over to the barn finds. And, which one are we up to? We've done about four now, haven't we? for our let's pick six. We've had the Austin Ambassador, the Honda Z600, that Mini on the pallets, and the Series 1 Land Rover. This Ford Anglia. Let's see, let's just check the exact models. That's me ducking under a barrier. I believe this has been off the road for about 20 years, but it looks stored rather than forgotten about. And the difference being is that, you know, it's obviously, it's not in a bad state. I'm gonna try and get the rear end there. Anglia Deluxe. Got the reg in there. Obviously the details are on the Anglia Car Auctions website anyway, but for those to you, those of you who like to bang a reg number in, that may help. But no, um, this is going to be number five on our list. We're going to follow this one on auction day. And we'd love to know what you think it's going to sell for. Answers below, please. Right, what I'm going to do now, you're going to have to excuse me again as I disassemble the barrier. And we'll go along like this. I want to give these cars just as much attention if not more than the cars outside. As I've said before, we are UK barn finds and people do like to look at barn finds when they see our content. These cars here, I've referred to a number of times, the David Brown collection. Absolutely amazing find. We put up two quite long videos about these, so please check them out. I get that they're you know, not your normal short videos, like this one isn't, but they are fascinating viewing. 
two AC aces and an AC a seeker. But then, whereas that collection ends there, obviously with the Jags were in there as well. This wasn't one of these, but this is an AC, I believe. Yeah, it is. And I think we should have this one on our list because it doesn't have to be particularly glamorous cars for the eight, you know, for our little challenge. The Austin A30. I love this car so much, the way it looks and the fact it was owned by three generations of the same family, all down the female side. It used to go abroad. It's, I just, I don't know, I'm a sentimental so-and-so, and, -so, and I, th I love a story. Um, I'll try and have a pop my head in the side in a moment. But I think, how much do you think that one will go for? We'll try and just get the last one in. And what I'll do... I'll just um, undo this barrier here. Poke our head in and just have a little look. It's just that I remember seeing all the little knickknacks on the dash, all the little mementos and I don't know, I just think it's cute. So this is one we're gonna follow on auction day and we will post the result along with the other five up in a follow-up video. I'm going to go into another hall now, so that's not the end of the video, I'm afraid, because there are a lot more cars, some real cool stuff next door. So stay tuned. Okay, so I've come out of the barn fine stroke posh car hall into another posh car hall. So the Jaguar XK150, which we'll start with. MGB GT V8 which I heard running earlier and had a look under the bonnet have a look at the website I'm sure there's photos under the bonnet absolutely gorgeous a little lotus in there I'm doing my utmost to try and make sure we get every car in minor convertible there I'm going to work my best route, route around this building Lovely little Austin 7 there. So tiny. And we're going up the side here. I'm sure the Ford fans have already clocked the one in the corner. But every car has got its fan here, I'm sure. Including this Daimler. I love the colour of it. That is cool. Now this Transit County 4x4. Four four. I had a quick look at this earlier because I was quite interested in it. Not to buy. I haven't got that sort of money for this sort of vehicle. But I've just, um, I'd seen it on the website already and what I want to do, this has been yeah, basically restored. Um, but what I like is the back of it it's a blank canvas really because I know a lot of people make these into campers but you might not want to you've got options with this one it's not been that decision hasn't been made for you um, I don't know if you see I did notice there are a couple of marks on the window but the reason they're not that dear to buy apparently, but the reason they've left it is because they are the original etched glass, so you may want to keep them. Right, I'm going to try to walk backwards now. 
Try and get every car in. I'm wearing a microphone, but um, I don't know if you can hear. There's quite a lot going on around me. Hopefully, well, some people will probably rather hear that than me, but hopefully it's not interfering. They're a real hive of activity before an auction. Look at that, beautiful. If you can't afford that one, they were the barn find E types. I'm sure you can uh, spend more than that one will cost you and make those look gorgeous. Let's go through here. Quite a few Land Rovers scattered around this time. Um, I'll try from the back and we'll just pan around on some of them as we go down. I don't know anything about Bristol's. Traveller there. They are cool. Until we bought a miner, I didn't realise quite how cool they are. That is a lovely looking one, that. The Daimler here, this is one we often see in not such nice condition in our barn finds. This one's obviously not a barn find, this one is absolutely gleaming, but it is nice to see one all up and running and looking gorgeous like that. Um, we'll get some footage of the front of the Jensen Interceptor in a little while because I just love those. Another new one on me, Ronart, Jaguar based. That's an intriguing looking thing. Oh, I can't wait to hear that. Probably don't even need to travel 60 miles to come here to hear it. Just sit in a living room, I'm sure I'll hear that one from Suffolk. Tidy Morgan Park over there. So let's come round, have a look at that Jensen Interceptor, and then we'll work our way up the next row. Expert, but this Cortina isn't standard. Look at that, so cool. Ah, would appear it's the real deal as well. Historic rally car FIA pass there. If I can get out of the way of the reflection there. And tribute to Eric Jackson. 
That's really lovely to see. Have a look on Anglia Car Auctions website if you want to know more about that one. Aha, uh -huh. we have the minis, or a mini. My word, it's never ending. Ah, oh, this Rover three litre. Did catch this one out of the corner of my eye earlier. What a cool car. I love that number plate, it's like a blackboard. <laughs> Look at the size of it. It's hard to um, get a measure of it probably through the screen there, but it's, um, it's huge. Get some chalk and doodle on that. Don't do that, by the way, that was a joke. A little pastel TR4. I need to just dart through here. Come around the front. Fill in the gaps for me on that one. I'd love to drive that on a nice day. My word. The Nova GTE. That will be popular, you just know it. And, um, Let's see if we can squeeze through. What a plate that is. Phew, we are coming to the end of this hall. job to know what sort of speed to go at, how much time to spend on each car. I'm sure if it was the car you were, you're interested in, you'd love to see a stop and spend a few minutes looking around it, but there's so much to take in. And we are conscious of the fact that extremely long videos aren't always that popular. But it is what it is here. I don't have any choice. Over 270 cars for sale, August the 19th and 20th. And hopefully we'll have caught nearly every one of them on camera. Now we're gonna go into the, like the main hall and we'll have a look around there. So I'm in the main hall now, stood up on the rostrum where the auctioneers will be. 
before I start, this, just a little word, they are, like I keep saying, people busy here. I can hear a hoover going in the background and all sorts of stuff, so bear with us. Hopefully it won't interfere too much. But I've got a sneaky feeling that'll be the first car through on Saturday that we test there. We'll go and have a look at, around the rest of them down here, so... Here we go, look. The hallowed steps. They are sorting out the running order today. That gets published a few days before the auction. Another scimitar there, look. I think we mentioned one of those earlier. So these will all be Saturday cars. For me personally, Saturday's fun day. Not because it's tis was, but because it tends to be some of the ones that I can afford myself to bid on. You do get cheaper ones on the Sunday, but ten, tends to be the more expensive ones we'll go through on the Sunday, but they may throw a spanner in the works there and battle things around a bit, I don't know. But that's what we've found so far, the auctions we've been to. Cars are getting all clean and ready to go. Like I said, it, this auction house really do do a brilliant job. So just catching the eye of one of the guys here. You're all right, mate, thank you. <laughs> You're doing your job. You're doing a grand job. Look at that. They're so polite and friendly here. They really are just lovely. And um, cause that Metro, I think that was the one he was just hoovering. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to precursor this with the fact that Claire said this, not me, last night we were looking at the website and she said every girl would love this Mini. Now I think a few blokes would as well, but if I was to come out with that statement I'd get all sorts of abuse, but no. That is lovely. Is that Sky Rose one possibly? Rose on the back, I think they were Sky Rose. Tell me if I'm wrong. You know you love doing that. Um, so yeah, we'll have a quick scoot along here whilst the Valator is out of shot for a moment. This is an Orion diesel. I know in our local car club, that's the fact that this is on sale this weekend has caused quite a lot of chatter, people interested in that. Basically because there just aren't many of them. And a lot of people, myself included, kind of like the lower models as it were, the less sporty ones because they've become the more unusual ones in our eyes. But there's a bum for every seat, so every car will have its follower and potential buyer. One being charged there, that's not unusual. Some of these cars come in literally as soon as one auction ends. The cars start coming in and there's the best part of three months in between each auction. So you'll see chargers and jump packs and all sorts. Not unusual. I think this is a Dodge here that didn't have a massive guide price on, so that might be worth a look. Guide prices aren't always the be all and end all. They do tend to indicate that there might be a reserve somewhere in there, but even that's not always the case. We're nearly, 
we're nearly done. That's worthy of a little extra look. Let's just pan round. Going a little bit quicker in this hole because I'm conscious of the fact that these guys are trying to work and I'm halting them a little bit so we're nearly there. I'm just going to finish up by going to the motorbikes and some of the, there are a couple of other cars and a bit of automobilia out here. I don't want to miss out the bikes, they are an important part of this and I'm sure this one in particular Take the interest of some people. Scoot round some of the bits and pieces of the larger automobilia. Yes, there is a dodge in there. And you always get a couple of cars here, TR6. And what we'll do, before we finish out, I will just have a quick scoot around the automobilia room because um, some people like to have a look in there, I know I do. I generally end up buying a few bits from there, but we'll have a look. Oh, there's the obligatory chopper, look. But yeah, we'll go and have a look around the automobilia room next and um, that'll be the end of the video. Well, look at this. I've really gained their trust because this door is locked and I want to look at the automobilia. They've given me the key. Look at that. Amazing. Now, I love this room. I'm not going to have a massive look around because I realise this is a long video Everything here is on the website. Automobilia, the auctions start on both days at 10 a.m. So half on the Saturday, half on the Sunday. I think these are fairground rides, but this is gonna be an incredibly quick look around. Virtually everything you see in this room will be for sale. But I say virtually because you do need to check because certain things like that, are staying at where they are. But we'll have a very, very quick look around. But you've got everything from like oil pumps, wheels, stands, signs galore. Buyer beware, caveat emptor with signs. If you're going to bid original sign prices, make sure they are original. But some of them are just cool because they're interesting. Another stop go sign. We actually bought one of those from a previous auction. And then you've got bits of car stuff underneath, books, 
always got some scale extra. Always. Um, things like this, if you want to sort of make your garage look cool. A few knickknacks to scatter around. That would be sold as one lot, by the way, just in case anyone's wondering. Um, yeah. Do have a look, because the automobile goes on a separate section on the website. You can bid online. Um, i trying to think the best way around. I'd, like I say, I want to be quick, but I do want to show you as much as I can. If you can't afford a full-size Cosworth, maybe the scale electric set will do you. We'll just quickly go up the middle here. There you go, Triumph. Honestly, I love it in here. I think the reason I love it, because a lot of this stuff's affordable and it's fun, it puts a smile on your face. We've bought various bits and pieces from here and other automobilia places just for the crack. Obviously, there are proper collectors will see stuff in here that uh, they'll be after as well. So do have a look at these on the website. They photograph everything brilliantly as well. You get a far better look than you get with me. This is just to give you a, an idea, really. Let's go. Old RS sign there. More scale extra. There's stuff everywhere. I'm sure I saw that before, but this is what I mean. You kind of go around two or three times and spot things you didn't clock the first time, but that's a cool sign. No idea if there's any age to it. So there you have it. Automobilia, both days, split over two auction days. Starts at 10 a.m. This is the end of this um, Anglia Car Auctions August preview from UK Barn Finds. I hope it adds a little element extra to, you know, for you. We're just trying to show things from our perspective. You can go to Anglia Car Auctions, they'll be doing their own walk around videos and they'll have far more info than we have. But if you like this sort of thing or if you like any of our videos, please like and subscribe, share them if you can. We'll be back on auction days and we like I've said before, we're going to follow up on the David Brown collection, the six barn finds that we've indicated in this walk around. And I dare say there'll be the odd thing that crops up that we'd like to have a look at. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.